Hello and welcome to Woke Watch, an ongoing series of videos in which I find the most ridiculous woke stories circulating on the internet and then we can dismantle them and hopefully have a laugh at their expense. So the Forb Power Women Summit is an annual event that takes place in the USA where some of the most influential women from around the world are invited to speak to a female audience on issues concerning women. The event took place earlier this month and Forbes took the wokest of woke decisions by inviting a man to explain to the female audience how to live as a woman. Meet Dylan Mulvaney, who despite being in his 30s, doesn't identify as a woman, he identifies as an adolescent girl. Dylan has amassed over 7 million followers on the public mental illness factory that is TikTok. Most of said followers are young women who always spring to his defence. Now, to be fair to him, unlike many transgender content creators, there's nothing evil or malicious about his content. He's not demanding the world changes to accommodate him. But as you're about to see in one of his one minute videos, he's fucking deranged. Day 66, being a girl, and today I'm in nature. Trees, I love them. Water, lakes, I love them. Heels, they're my hiking heels. I love them. Okay. Bridges, love them. Coconut water, love it. Not an ad, just love it. Wind turbine, love it. Meadows, love them. I'm scared of getting Lyme disease. Love ya. Ah! Oh. Did you see that? I gotta get out of here. Did you see that? There's a dragon. Oh my god. Never again. Get me out of here. Love ya. So we see in Dylan's diseased mind, being a girl involves behaving like a bad actress from a 1950s B movie. No woman, young or old, behaves like that. He looks like a patient from a psych ward who hasn't been taking his medication. But the madness doesn't stop there. Recently, he was offered a sponsorship deal, which to his credit he turned down, to be the new face of Tampax. Let's be clear, Dylan is biologically male. He has no use for tampons because he doesn't have a womb or a vagina. Although he doesn't use the term vagina, he says Barbie pocket. So any ladies who are watching, be aware this man is speaking up on what it's like to be one of you. I bet you're flattered. And if you are a man and find that every month you're bleeding out of your arsehole, go and see a doctor. Or at least question your lifestyle choices. Such as don't volunteer to get fucked by an entire darts team. Another of his videos caused controversy when he was recorded wearing a pair of leather shorts so tight that the viewers could make out the outline of his genitalia. But he commented, Sometimes I forget my crotch doesn't look like other women's crotches. I don't have a Barbie pocket, I have a bulge. We'll get used to it, because come bikini season, there'll be lots of girls with bulges. Can we not go back to the beautiful, romantic and halcyon days where we would get someone like Dylan put him in a nut house and plug his head into the national grid. Briefly, back to tampons. There's a sentence I never thought I'd use. Dylan carries tampons in his handbag in order to hand them out to women and girls he meets in female restrooms. Which, given that he's biologically male, he's got no fucking business being in there. So the decision to invite this individual to be a speaker at the Power Women Summit was met with a massive backlash, as well it might, because once again, it's wokeness seeking to erase women. Because Dylan took to the stage on his 189th day of what is at best, LARPing as a teenage girl. And if you're unfamiliar with that term, LARPing is live action role play. If you've ever driven past a football pitch in the off season, and seeing large groups of social outcasts dressed as wizards and orcs pretending to fight each other, that's LARPing. This guy's just taking it to a different fucking level. The backlash grew worse, because whilst he was on the stage, Dylan made this statement. Trans women can teach you more about femininity than cis women any day of the week. 
That's not a challenge, it's an invitation. He then lectured the female audience for a bit longer before concluding, move over, we've got this. I mean, I'm not a woman, but I feel the need to be offended on their behalf. Just to be clear, I'm not actually offended on behalf of women, because that is rule one in the book of being a woke fucktard, being offended by something that doesn't affect you. To sum up, Forbes, in their pursuit of showing how fucking progressive they could be, thought it was a good idea to listen to a man who pretends to be a teenage girl, who also thinks he knows more about femininity and womanhood than actual women, but also that those issues can be broken down into hair, makeup, feminine clothing and outdated sexist stereotypes. To me, that's no different or any less offensive than if there was an event which highlighted the issues within the black community and I turned up there with a tin of boot polish and started giving it the full Al Jolson before explaining that I identify as black, therefore I know more about issues surrounding people of colour than anyone else. The world has gone mad. As ever, thanks for watching. Tree, love them.